respect the common denominator that amalgamates a whole global culture has expanded since the 70s. The hip hop movement represents one of the most important cultural manifestations of our humanity because it turns art into a lifestyle. That regardless of where you are in the world, you can connect around a similar culture. Hip hop is, is although from New York City, is global and has always been global. The original influences came from Africa and when it started in New York, spread across the world. And now, you know, in places like Cochabamba, you have young MCs, DJs, uh, breakers, doing the culture justice, like really good practitioners of the art form. And the hip hop movement for me is, it means a lot. It's a tool to, to save lives in a lot of ways. Um, and so it's a tool that I have used to really help me change my life and focus on things that I really want to do uh, to become a better person. Um, and it's taken me all over the world. Uh, and I think that each person that participates or involves themselves with the culture, giving themselves to uh, a fighter, artist, and also an advocate for those around them, like their community. You know, what it means to me specifically, I mean, it, it means everything. And the people that I've met through hip hop and music in general, um, yeah, just changed the entire way that I live, like almost overnight. So yeah, that's what hip hop is for me. The Next Level program is an initiative that exports the values of hip hop culture to people of different nationalities. With more than 30 countries intervened with art, this management arrived in Bolivia, demonstrating that language is not a barrier and that art is a universal language. I believe that both dance and music are universal languages. You don't really need to um, understand feeling. It's just something that is a part of you. Um, for example, when I was teaching the students, um, we don't speak the same language, and yet we were still able to we, we were still able to converse through the movement, general uh, dialogue with our bodies. Music is definitely a universal language, uh, and I learned that firsthand being in, in Bolivia. Uh, I don't speak Spanish very well. Um, but as soon as I hear my comrades that, that rap, I understand what they're saying, even if I don't like understand the language. It doesn't really have a language. You know, if there's a rap cipher, you know, people can rap in Spanish or people can rap in English. You know, you can still tell if somebody's good, even if you can't understand the words that they're saying. And that's just in rap, you know, and that's with music with words. So music without words, is even more universal, obviously, because it has no language. So. I can't give a definitive answer in that, yes, because music is sounds in time. Community, culture, country has an experience of sharing their stories through sounds in time. But as much as it is universal in that sense that everyone has music, it's also very local. So the instruments that are used, the rhythms that are used, uh, the stories that are being told is very, very unique and specific to that place. So I guess it, it sounds kind of crazy, but in the fact that it's very different wherever you go, it's universal. Next Level was made possible thanks to the collaborative work between the CBA, the United States Embassy and the Martadero Project. It benefited more than 80 young people who received entrepreneurship workshops, organizational skill and artistic strategies. Um, for me, it was more not even. It was bigger than rap. It's bigger than teaching people how to rap uh, because these guys came to the table already knowing how to do that. They knew how to rap. They knew how to stay on beat. They knew how to freestyle. The the thing that I was trying to get across, my, more so me, I was trying to get across of how to organize, how to do community building, uh, how to to build with your brothers, uh, but also how to be a, a, a person. Um, a lot of times we put 
music and artistry above how we feel and then once we get some type of success uh we don't really know how to handle that success so for me i was really doing a training and how to be a full person but also being a full person that pursues art um in a in a tangible way um i really hope that these students walk away with a sense of pride and and um independence because i think that you know we all have a fear that we're never good enough, our biggest critics, but I think what I hope they walk away with is just a stronger sense of confidence and um, respect for themselves. I think a lot of people have the fear, understandably so, have the fear that, you know, being an artist means like immediate failure. You know, I mean, at least when I was growing up, my parents would always tell me like, you're not, you're not gonna be a musician, like seriously. I had to kind of learn, you know, by myself and through my friends that like, that wasn't true, that I can do music as a career and still be a successful person. At any given moment, you should be able to express yourself using different forms and formats. Then you have to be open to other experiences, not just listening to that music. You know, you have to be open to people dancing, open to visual art, open to culture, that they were gonna, they were gonna be taught skills that could help them self-actualize and be better human beings. But I always say we're not about creating the next greatest hip hop star. We're about creating young people who self-actualize and can like live life to the fullest. With the tools acquired during the workshops, it is hope to encourage these young people to take the values of the hip hop cultures as a philosophy of life and in this way become agents of change in their community.